Do you think Arnold Schwarzenegger, when he was Mr. Olympia, envisioned the future being a bunch of mass monsters that all they could do was eat? You ever see Pumping Iron? Arnold seemed to be having a pretty freaking good time to me. Coach Greg, and today I'm gonna be reviewing Dwayne Walker, who appeared on an episode with Fuad, okay? They got into what the heck is wrong with bodybuilding? What is he gonna do to fix it? And what is the main issues that we're dealing with, okay? Bodybuilding freaking sucks right now. It's not my fault, it's every freaking other person's fault. I'm about the only one that makes sense. Me and this Dwayne Walker guy. I'm gonna explain why I feel this way, I'm gonna say what he does, I'm gonna say what we should do, how it does it get solved, and so on. What do you want, ultimately, what do you want from bodybuilding? Like, I guess on a deeper level, what is, what is it you see for yourself? This is the part that gets really good. And this is where I really like this Dwayne Walker. In case you don't know, he's a freaky bodybuilder. He's way better than me. Yeah, I get it, okay? He's a bodybuilder. But aside from physical, um, like if we, if we go deeper, is there a... Okay, deeper. Listen, this is what I want to talk about, especially. I'm glad I asked this question. So he's pumped. This is what he really wanted to answer on this podcast. So he's really into this, okay? I already watched this. I know what he's gonna say. He's really into it. He's so passionate. I love this guy. I love his answers. And I love the way he talked to Fuad about this. Okay. What building is a sport that's not appealing to many. You're thinking, no, everyone wants to be a bodybuilder. Everyone wants these big muscles. No, everyone wishes they had a decent body and was ripped. Nobody wants to be a freaking actual bodybuilder. No one wants to be competing on stage. And when I say no one, I mean 99% of people think it's ridiculous. And why would you ever want to do that for a plastic trophy? And because of that, I would like to be the person to make that change in the, in, the, in the sport. So he's gonna explain the reasons why bodybuilding isn't appealing to people. And they are not, trust me, okay? And he wants to be the person that changes that. Is he copying me? I wanna be the person that changes that. And I am, I'm currently doing that. Okay. Y'all know I don't eat like a bodybuilder. Chicken, broccoli, and rice. Yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta eat it every two hours. Me. <laughs> Vile weed. I am not like that. I'm the most normal bodybuilder that I know. And trust me, I am not normal. And this is the most normal bodybuilder you're gonna meet. What does that say about bodybuilding? We're not normal people, okay? But I'm trying to make it so that, yes, Everybody can bodybuild. Everyone can be a bodybuilder. We just need to present it the right way. We need to do the right things and make it so that people like it and want to do it. People worship soccer players, basketball players, MMA fighters, boxers, hockey players, football players, cyclists, runners. Every sport is like, oh, it's so great. You're an athlete. Oh, I respect that. What sport do you do? I'm a bodybuilder. Oh, you're a gearhead. Oh, eat, sleep, and repeat. Oh, let's just go and freaking take a bunch of pills and supplements. Let's just train. Oh, you gotta eat every two hours, don't ya? Oh, you're gonna be miserable. You have no life. Your life is sucks. Oh, and then you're gonna bulk in the off season and get fat and look like poop. And oh, it's diet time and oh, it's drugs and death. That's bodybuilding. So all you do is eat, sleep, and repeat. You're poor and you spend all your time in the gym lifting weights, putting them back down, and everything sucks in your life, all because you want to look so good and flex in the mirror. Yeah, that's because a lot of friggin' bodybuilders make it look like that's what you need to do. They promote that. The pro bodybuilders, they want to make it look like I suffer more than you. My life is more horrible than yours. I am a better man than you because that's all I do in life. I just lift weights and eat every two hours and I never miss a meal. No, I would never do that because I want to be the best. You don't think every freaking superstar at the top elite level does the same freaking thing? And we have to outdo our competition. So if they train six hours, I'm training seven. If I'll eat chicken, broccoli, and rice, I'm gonna eat chicken, broccoli, and rice, but a special kind of rice. I'll eat just brown rice because I'm that strict. I'm gonna be the champion. You don't need to do that. 
So anyway, I wanted to actually watch this video and comment, so I better start watching the video and commenting now, shouldn't I? It doesn't show where the sport is really rewarding. That's what I'm looking for. It doesn't show where the sport is really rewarding. Imagine your 60-year-old son, those are your parents, those are, I want to be a bodybuilder when I grow up. You're going to be like, uh, no. Then you're just thinking, drugs and poor and bad for your health. If they say, I want to be a doctor or a lawyer or baseball player, it's probably a lot more easy to hear and understand than I want to be a professional bodybuilder. Persons don't think bodybuilders make money. Yeah. But guess what? Being preyed on a pro stage is not the only way to make money, okay? You need money to live. Sorry, but you do. We all want to make money. How much money do you think I've earned as a professional bodybuilder in my career of eight years? Zero friggin' dollars. Zero. Not one. Zero dollars. When I was a school teacher, I got paid every two weeks. I got money. It's a good job. Okay? Now as a bodybuilder, I'm not a school teacher anymore. But guess what? You think the only way to make money was being on stage and flexing and saying, my muscles are more shredded than yours? Nope. You think it's only YouTube? No. You think it's only sponsors? No! Use your heads. If you're a professional bodybuilder, you friggin' earned that. You used your brain and used your body and you dedicated yourself to achieving a look that only 0.1% of the population could ever do. You're an elite person. Use that to your advantage. Other people are gonna wanna look like you. They're gonna wanna learn from you. They're gonna wanna emulate you. You can be a personal trainer. You can explain how to train properly, how to eat properly. How did you do it? Use that and charge other people to learn from you. When I was growing up and researching bodybuilding, what I would see is a mass monster, in and sweats, lifting heavy in the gym, mm -hmm. eating, taking a lot of pills, drinking supplements. That's what you think when you look at bodybuilding. That's what it is. That's what the research comes up. You don't say bodybuilder and you come up with, oh, Coach Greg, he's out riding a bicycle and he's eating freaking pancakes and French toast. Nope, that ain't showing up. It's not Greg Doucette laying out in a hot tub driving a race car. Nope, it's not that. It's not me at the movie theaters. It's not me at a restaurant. It's not me having an enjoyable life, going for walks and playing with animals. It's not me hanging out with a pet pig or a freaking baby Nike or some dogs. Stuff like that. We do have normal lifestyles just the same. Yeah. And we, we are living our dreams from the bodybuilding. Mm -hmm. We need to show, we, need, we can show the other spin-offs of being a bodybuilder. If we can change it so that people think about more normal looking people or more normal lives, they get more fun. It doesn't always have to be the bodybuilding mass monster. Of course, Bumstead is a Mr. Olympia champion, classic physique. He has a normal life, pretty much. He does normal stuff. If people look up to Chris Bumstead, as opposed to just Mr. Olympia, and they say, hey, he's out playing basketball. See Chris Bumstead shooting three-pointers. He freaking grab it on the rim, slam dunk it and stuff. She's pretty normal to me. He's able to have a normal life, a fun life that other people want to do. That's the kind of role model that you're going to want to follow. Does that make sense? Not just some guy dressed up horribly. Chris is dressed up real cool. He's got the jeans with holes in him and stuff. And I'm not cool, I'm old. Chris is young, cool. So you can follow guys like that, do what they do, and want to look like them or be like them. Much better role model for the sport than some big mass monster saying you need to bulk up 24 hours a day and never miss a meal and put on so much muscle and lift and train and that's all you get to do. More fun to think you can have a normal life, just like an NBA player or a basketball player or a hockey player. Does that not make sense? Even though there are bodybuilders and do bodybuilding, there are spin-offs that come from being bodybuilding. Yeah. Do you think Arnold Schwarzenegger, when he was Mr. Olympia, envisioned the future being a bunch of mass monsters that all they could do was eat? Do you ever see Pumping Iron? Arnold seemed to be having a pretty freaking good time to me. That's the life that we need to bring back. That's the life that we need to follow. 
fun. People want to have fun. Bodybuilding should be fun. And yes, of course, there's discipline when you're dieting for a show and you have to suffer and it's difficult, but it should be fun. You don't have to diet 12 months straight all year. No. Yeah, you diet for the show, but the other time you can go out to the beach. You can smoke a freaking joint. If it's legal in your country, you can. You can do all kinds of fun things. When a child says to their parents, hey, I want to be a bodybuilder. And the parents say, why? Bodybuilders don't make money. There's nothing in bodybuilding. I can show them, hey, this guy did it. They should be able to say, well, check out Coach Greg's channel. He's a bodybuilder. Does he seem like he has such a horrible life? He's out having a good time. He's riding a bike. He's having fun. What's wrong with that, dad? What's wrong with that, mom? That is what we need in the sport to change it so that people see it in a better light. Your goal is an admirable one, an admirable one. You want to basically show people that they can have a good life and a normal life and a happy life and still be a hardcore bodybuilder. And so, yeah, they says, you know, other sports, they show the bling, the house, the cars, and the normal life and they have fun. So it's enjoyable. People want to be like that. They want to copy that. Bodybuilding is not the same thing. And no, it's not the only thing. It's not about money. But you know what I'm talking about. I feel like if you want to win the Olympia, it has to become a be-all, be-all everything of your life. I don't, think, I don't think you can beat the guys at the top, in the top three, top five, top six if you're doing less than they are. That's no different than every freaking sport. You want to be the best UFC fighter in the world? You want to be the best marathon runner in the world? The best swimmer in the world? The best cyclist at the Tour de France? Obviously, you're giving your all 100%, but you can still have a normal life. You can still go to the movies. You can still lay out on the beach. You can still go for walks and have normal conversations with normal people and not be just dressed in sweatpants and living in misery. Okay? It doesn't have to be that way. Maybe if you're William Bonac in your second place, maybe you're not going out to party all year. There's a compromise, people. You don't have to party every single weekend or live as a hermit the friggin' entire year and only lift weights and do nothing enjoyable. At least your weekend. Yeah. Your weekend. What? You spend the weekend with your kids and your wife. Tell us about that. I, I don't disagree with you at all. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, you know? There's a balance, and you can have that balance, okay? You can live a normal life. Same as when you're freaking in the UFC and you want to win the title. You can have balance, too. Of course, they're not partying every weekend a month before they do a major fight. But you can have normal balance in life. You need to. Bodybuilding is already seen as the cult sport. Yeah. And it is not, it's not mainstream because it's not appealing. It is, in fact, a cult sport right now. And that's a problem. And one of the issues is all these bodybuilders, you go on their Instagram accounts, and you go on their YouTube channels and stuff, and what are they promoting? They're promoting how strict their lifestyle is, how they're eating only chicken, broccoli, and rice. All I do is cardio, and I eat every two hours, and it has to be this way. And I don't put Walden Farms, and I don't put artificial sweetener on anything, because it's a chemical and it might kill me. Meanwhile, they're injecting more chemicals than a veterinary zoo has seen in a year. Come on, let's be honest. That's the problem. And we're rewarding the wrong physiques. Just because someone's bigger doesn't mean they're better. Well, that is what she said once, but it's not always the case. It's not actually the case. Reward better physiques, more quality physiques, physiques that more people want to achieve, the physique that people want to look like. Then you can downsize these physiques into bodies that people want to look like. Then the drug use can go down because you don't need to take so much. People will look better. They will live longer. More people will be interested in this. The paychecks will go up because more people will want to watch these shows because it will be mainstream. Solution solved. What do you think classic physique was introduced for? It was introduced for that exact reason. And mark my words, it's rising, it's gonna get bigger and better, and eventually it's gonna replace the regular body. There'll be changes. They'll be like, hey, bodybuilding, hey, we don't want classic physique takeover. Let's start resorting physiques that look like classic physique, only they're bigger. That's what's going to happen. It's already happening. It already is. There is one thing I will say is I don't think bodybuilding is not mainstream because of how it looks. I don't think anybody can do it. No, that's not what it is, Flood. 
Not everyone can be a UFC champion. Can you see me rolling around the mat getting punched in the face? I don't want Mike Tyson punching me in the face. It's bad enough when ghrelin's punching me in the face making me want to eat. It's not because it's difficult. Every sport's difficult. It's hard to ride six hours on a bicycle for freaking weeks straight at a time. But people are still doing it. They are. It's not mainstream because it's not cool enough, because it's just not promoted well, and because the money is not there, and because the bodybuilders, they themselves are showing the wrong stuff on the internet. We're all showing selfies. I do selfies all the time too, but I was trying to show a little bit of other stuff too, so that people don't just think all you do is lift weights. Okay? Even with my videos, it's not all how to build muscle, how to lose weight. There's other videos that I do too. There's other topics. There's other things that people want to see. They might want to see me race a vegan cyclist in a bike race. Okay? They like seeing other things. We need to make it more appealing, more fun. They might want to see on vacation. This is me eating ice cream. This is me making fun of my girlfriend eating a freaking pickle pizza. They want to see other stuff, and that's what you got to give them. And for what? Just because most people don't want to eat six times a day doesn't mean it's going to prevent it from being mainstream, okay? I don't want to have to fight somebody all the time, but UFC is mainstream. And I coach a lot of people who are into MMA, and they're training for it, but they're not actually fighting professionally. They do it for fun. It's part of their training. Just like bodybuilding, you can train with weights Diet for fun and make it enjoyable. You don't have to be a pro bodybuilder and take all these PEDs just to be a fan of bodybuilding. And that's what we talk about when we need to make it mainstream. We need more people to watch it and want to be a part of it. But not necessarily more people who want to be professionals who are actively trying to be pros. That's not what we need. We need just more interest in it. When they look at a bodybuilding show, like if you took an average person and you showed them the Tampa pro bodybuilding show this weekend, they would have no clue what is different between the top five. They would say everybody looks the same. But that doesn't change it and make it not mainstream. Okay, Miss America pageant, pretty mainstream, or any beauty pageant. Bodybuilding is like a beauty pageant. You can go to the Mr. Olympia, stand there and be like, that Chris Bumstead guy, I want him to win. Go Chris Bumstead, go do it, flex harder than last time. Yeah, that's it, blow more air out on the apples than last time. Yes, vacuum more than last time. You can do that. You don't need to say, oh, he won because he lifted the most weight. You can say, hey, he won. I want him to win because I like his look the best. You can look at a bodybuilding show and you can say, I like that person. I want that person to win. That's your opinion. There's nothing wrong with that. Right? But, but strong man, strong man, you don't, I don't, I don't know anything about powerlifting. I can go to a powerlifting meet and, be, and cheer for the guy who deadlifted more than the other guy. So it doesn't need to be a clear defined winner that everyone understands. You can just cheer for whoever you like to look the most. I like that person to win. I want that one to win. Even if they suck, you can still want them to win. There's nothing wrong with that. Figure skating. I watch figure skating championships. They all spin around three times, four times. I like, how many spins? Three, four, I don't know, quad trim. I don't know what they did. Axel Lutz, I don't know what that is, whatever. I like that routine. I hope they win. Oh, they got 10th place. Oh, shucks, darn it. It's still in the Olympics. I feel like as far as bodybuilding becoming mainstream, I think we all have the same goal. We want people to love it. We want people to appreciate what we do. Bodybuilders want everyone to know they're suffering so much. They don't want them to think, hey, this is cool and this is fun. So it's kind of bodybuilders fault. I don't think that bodybuilders actually want, I don't think that bodybuilders actually want other people to be bodybuilders. They want to be the best bodybuilder, yes, but they don't want everyone to love it. They want everyone to love watching them love it. Does that make sense? Okay. They want people to cheer for them and go to the shows and then support them and get better money, but they don't want everyone to eat chicken, broccoli, and rice. Say, hey, if you want to look like me, you have to suffer like me. You have to just do all this crazy crap that you don't want to do, and that's why I look like this. Because I don't have good genetics. I just trained hard in last time, and I suffered for 20 years eating the same thing and having no life. I don't like it. I want you to be more like me just because it's more realistic. Bodybuilding is hard enough. Why not make it easier? Why not have your Diet Coke and drink it too? Patrick Moore drinks Diet Root Beer. I've seen it. Oh my God, he can't have it. There's artificial sweeteners in there. It might impact his future potential to win the Mr. Olympia in seven years from now because he had diet root beer in 2020. Anyway, got into here. GregDuset.com for coaching. 
Greg Doucette to IP Pro, blow up videos. They're freaking so far away over there and way down here so far you can't see them. Be sure to watch those videos. And until next time, I am out. It doesn't... Whoever barks the most wins. Bark harder than last time.